Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, let us now begin our show with our prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of the Almighty God. Let us pray the prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from the false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, the LGBTQ community, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from the manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion Philippines to Repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encountered. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Clare of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, Pray for us and our family and our friends. St. Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes. And those, the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion, amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him to do COVID-19. This is... This is the new case. Forget to our life.
ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Wednesday, December 15, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. And also for our technical team today, uh, good, good afternoon po, Sir Mark. Thank you for being here with me today. For, to assist me in our technicalities of the show. As we commence our show, ladies and gentlemen, we like to present to you our daily verse for today. From 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Editorial. This evening, or this afternoon rather, we will discuss to you about how to give love this Christmas day. Based on our Christmas countdown, ladies and gentlemen, we only have 10 days to go before Christmas. When we say give love on Christmas day, what does this mean? How should we show love this Christmas day? So without further ado, here now is our topic for this afternoon for today's show, which is Give Love on Christmas Day. Next slide, please. Okay. So Give Love on Christmas Day, it was a song that was sung by the Jackson 5. It's, it's true. Come Christmas time, most of us think of the best the best gifts that we can give. And so, we give gifts that best express our love and appreciation to our loved ones, to our families, and our friends. So when we say that, ladies and gentlemen, we mean that we show that we give love this Christmas Day as well. Next slide, please. What is the essence of the song? That is why the most important word or name at Christmas is Christ. It's because, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas is the day that we celebrate love. And we must have love that is based or originated from his birth. But to fulfill that love for the mankind, baby Jesus Christ has to grow up and end up dying on the cross to sacrifice and to save every believer. Next slide, please. In fact, it is during this season that no matter what holiday you do or you don't celebrate, it seems like people feel obligated to give something. Many purchase gifts in bulk and also to give similar gifts that could be their trademark gift in more Christmas events to come. Some end up personalizing their gifts with either their names or the names of the recipients embossed or printed on their gift items. Next slide, please. Many of us end up giving out cash or gift certificates from the department stores so our recipients can buy the items they want to receive. Still, some end up with a random assortment of the stuff they won't use and sometimes actively dislike and we give them to someone who will appreciate them. Next slide, please. If you're the lucky one and you have awesome friends and family, you get really amazing presents for birthdays, holidays, or just cause that show people really put a lot of thought into what you would like and wanted to make sure you were really genuinely happy with your present. Treasure those people. Find them good and cool gifts for them, not as a form of repayment, but showing your love and appreciation as well. Next slide, please. For Christians among us, God the Almighty has already given the best gift more than 2,000 years ago. It is the birth, death of His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. According to the Holy Bible, Based on John chapter 3, verse 16, it states there, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish, but have eternal life. So in other words, because our country, the Philippines, is a Roman Catholic country, the Almighty God has already given the best gift for us, which is his birth, and his sacrifices that, that have been done to us as individuals in our society. That's why, according to this verse, God so loved the world. What does this mean? God created the world. He gave his only begotten son, wherein his birth is involved, so that whoever who believes in him should not perish. But he has to show his sacrifices and his eternal life as well. 
Next slide, please. Some people seem not wanting in gifts at all. Perhaps they all need is your time and your presence in these important days of the year. After all, there's really no better gift than love. So what does this mean? We need to, regardless if it's a Christmas gift or any gift you have in your possession, we need to have time to show that we need to have the best gift. That's why we need to show that we give love this Christmas day, ladies and gentlemen. Next slide, please. When one is asked what gift they want for Christmas, they answer with a material object. However, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest gift is something that one cannot touch. The greatest gift is something that one can give every day, not just on the holidays, the people that we care about. The greatest gift is love. Love defines us and creates a bond between humans. So what does this mean? Why do we need to, to give love this Christmas? It's because Christmas is a season of perpetual hope. And also, as we spend time with our families and our loved ones as well. And also, the most important gift for us is to show expressions of love to our loved ones, to our families, and our friends as well. And that's why we need to show that we continue to give love this Christmas day. As we prepare for the celebration, I urge everyone to show that we love our families, our loved ones, and our relatives, and our friends as well. And also, as we approach the holiday season, we urge everyone to spend time with their families and your loved ones as well. So that concludes our topic this evening, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon and later this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And let's move on to some of our very important announcements. So here are some of our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. We are selling the following products. One Inclusion Nation t-shirts and our One Inclusion Nation tote bags. For our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts is available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For our One Inclusion Nation tote bags is available in white and black. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 150 to 200 pesos. So, how can you order? Well, first of all, we'll be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. I repeat, payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash that Sir Mark and I will present to you in just a moment, and we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Um, back to the other slide, please. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5 and 4, but it will continue to serve in areas under alert level 3 and 2 only. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hands in Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansin.inclusion at gmail.com. Next slide, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Hansin Inclusion needs your help. We have already been struggling with our financial problems in our organization, including us. So regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to help Hands in Inclusion Philippines as early as now. Ngayon, ngayon na, ladies and gentlemen. How can you do this? Scan and donate using GCash. Use this in our payment methods in the online shop. And also to purchase our products in the Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. This will be a great big help to us here in Hands in Inclusion. So what are you waiting for, ladies and gentlemen? 
please, please, and please, please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. Please donate to Hansen Inclusion Philippines and purchase our products in the online shop as well. And also, guys, the proceeds from the sales in the online shop will go to us here in Hansen Inclusion for its formality and expenses and the financial aid of our members in the due to the effects of this trying time. And also, we are aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder hands in inclusion Philippines. For those who did this, we'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you very much. Next slide, please. So ladies and gentlemen, we have two more events coming up for the month of December in Best Buddies Philippines. On December 18, 2021, it will be the Power Mac Christmas celebration, wherein we'll be um, decorating gingerbread cookies. And on on this Saturday, this is a joint between Power Mac Center and the Little Wisp in celebrating a delicious Christmas season. Together, they'll be decorating yummy gingerbread with sweet treats this Saturday. And, and if you want to register for December 18, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and the registration form will be sent to you as well. And also again on December 21st for a Friendship Tuesday in celebration of the birthday of Sarah Ongson. And here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Okay, before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, let us have some breaking news muna tayo. We're breaking news muna tayo. Okay. So here, we have some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. So as of 4, 5 p.m. today, um, Typhoon Odette, or the international code name Rai, further intensifies while moving east, while moving west, northwestward, towards the Philippine Sea. So it is located 485 kilometers east of Pinatuan, Surigao del Sur. So some of the areas that have tropical storm warning signals are as of 5 p.m. today, uh, for signal number one, we have Catanduanes, Camarines Sur, Albay, Sorsogon, Masbate, Tikau, and Burias Islands, the southern portion of Quezon Province, Guinayangan, Lopez, Macaleon, General Luna, Catanawan, Buenavista, San Narciso, Molanay, San Francisco, and San Andres, Marinduque, Romblon, Central and Southern portions of Oriental Mindoro, Calapan, Naujan, Victoria, Pola, Socorro, Pinamalayan, Gloria, Bansud, Bungabong, Rojas, Mansalay, Bulalacao and the central and southern portions of Occidental Mindoro, Sablayan, Kalintaan, Rizal, San Jose, Magsaysay, and the northern portion of Palawan, Taytay, Dumaraan, Araceli, El Nido, Calamian Islands, and Cuyo Islands. For Visayas, northern Samar, the rest of eastern Samar, the rest of Samar Province, Biliran, the rest of Leyte, the rest of Bohol, Cebu, Siquijor, Negros Oriental, Negros Occidental, Guimaras, 
Iloilo, Antique, Capiz, and Aklan. For Mindanao, the northern portion of Davao Oriental, Boston and Catil, Moncayo, Compostela, Montevista, Laak, Davao del Oro, Davao Oriental, the northern portion of Davao del Norte, San Isidro and Kapala, Kapalong, Bukidnon, City of Malaybalay, Kabanglasan, San Fernando, Valencia, Dantapan, Talakag, Baungon, Libona, Sumilao, Manolo Portage. The rest of Misamis Oriental, Misamis Occidental, the northern portion of Lano del Norte, Iligan, Tagoloan, Pantar, Baloy, Matungao, Linamon, Kauswagan, Po, Puna, Piagapo, Bacolod, Maigo, Colambugan, Munay. For the northern portion of Zamboanga del Sur, Tumingag, Mahayag, Molab, Josefina. Northwestern portion of Zamboanga del Norte, Jose Dalman, Manukan, President Rojas, Katipunan, Sergio Osmeña Sr., Bipolog, Polanco, Pinyan, Mutia, Dapitan, La Libertad, Rizal, Sibutad, Sia, Siayan, Sindagan, Bakungan, Salug, Godot, Niloy, Lano del Sur, Northern Parts, Tagoloan the Second, Kapay, and Bubong. For signal number two, for the southern portion of Eastern Samar, Borongan, Midolong, Balangkayan, Lorente, Lawaan, Balangiga, Giparlos, Quina Ponga, Pondan, General MacArthur, Hermani, Salcedo, Mercedes, and Guian. For the southern portion of Samar, Base, Marabut, Santa Rita, southern Leyte, and, and, and the central and southern portions of Leyte, Ormoc, Haro, Alang-Alang, Tacloban, Palompon, Merida, Isabel, Palo, Santa Fe, Pastrana, Tanawan, Dagami, Tabon-Tabon, Tolosa, Julita, Tulag, Burauen, Alguera, Baybay, La Paz, Mayor, Mayorga, MacArthur, Javier, Abuyog, Mahaplag, Inopakan, Hindag, Hilogos, Bato, Matalom, Babatnon, and Camotes Island in the eastern portion of Bohol. Garcia Hernandez, Jagna, Sierra Bolones, Dagohoy, Talibon, Trinidad, San Miguel, Pilar, Duero, Guindulman, Anda, Candilahay, Alicia, Mabini, Ubay, Bien Unido, and President Carlos Garcia. For Mindanao, for under signal number two, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, Dinagat Islands, Agusan Provinces, Matiitbog and Ipagsugong, Bukidnon, Isamis Oriental, Villanueva, Jasan, Claveria, Balingasag, Lagong Long, Salay, Medina, Ginogog City, Magsaysay, Talisayan, Balingoan, Kinoguitan, Sugbongkogon, Binu, Binungaan, Binuangan, and Kamigin. So, for the heavy rainfall, today until tomorrow early morning, there will be rains in Caraga, Davao Oriental, Eastern Samar, Samar, and Southern Leyte. But there are some areas that they'll be having rains as well. Gale to four storm force strength are effect are experienced within areas under signal number two. Areas under tropical storm warning signals will be expanded in the next bulletin. In the next and also considering these developments, the public and the local disaster risk reduction and management offices 
are concerned are advised to take all the necessary measures to protect lives and the property. Persons living in areas identified to be highly or very highly susceptible to, to these hazards are advised to follow the evacuation and other instructions from local officials. Heavy rainfall warnings, thunderstorm, and rainfall advisories, please monitor these by issued by your local Pag-asa Regional Services Division. The next update will be issued at 8 p.m. today. Aside from Typhoon Audit, we have other breaking news. Okay. So the entire Philippines uh, remain under alert level 2 status from December 16 to 31. That was announced earlier today by the Malacanang. Carlo Nograles decided to retain the alert level status as DOH confirmed the first two cases of the Omicron variant in our country. So on Wednesday today, the DOH said that there are two important cases of the Omicron variant that were detected from the 48 samples, and it was uh, involving um, two of them that were based on the 48 sample sequence as well. As of today, the DOH confirmed the cases of, uh, of our country. Uh, the total now is 2,836,868 total confirmed cases. 235 based on the DOH. And also... Um, as of earlier today, the DOH announced the two important cases of the Omicron variant. One is an ROF returning from Japan, and the other one is a Nigerian as well. And also, ladies and gentlemen, to those areas affected by Typhoon Audit, be alert and be cautious as well. In areas under affected by all that, be alert and extra careful to those who are living in low-lying areas. Due to possible um, possible uh, flooding and landslides as well. And also, with the detection of the important cases of the Omicron variant, the Department of Health urged everyone to adhere with the minimum public health standards, wearing a face mask, wash your hands with soap and water or alcohol, social and physical distancing, proper ventilation, and avoid crowded areas, and to get the life-saving vaccines as well. Be vaccinated as well. Okay, anyway, uh, we're done with our breaking news and let's continue to some of our announcements. Okay. Okay. So, next announcement, please. Okay. So, Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers present to you Project Sold Out. 17 out of 76 works are sold. This is in partnership with the Ateneo, Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Bodies Philippines, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, the Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, 
the UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and you belong PH. So if you want to check this out, please check Special Achievers as well. Next slide, please. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're feeling hungry, then, me, then you may order some of the foods from Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant and Kuya Korea Restaurant. For the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant, ladies and gentlemen, our menus are for our all-day breakfast, we have tapa sobra, chicken tocino, corned beef brisket, homemade spam, and beef salpicao. Sizes range from solo to large and prices range from 265 pesos to 1,450 pesos. Next slide, please. So for our rice trays, we have beef bulgogi, beef shawarma, beef gyudon, pork crackling bits, pork belly burnt ends, charred chicken, and boneless fried chicken. Sizes range from solo to large and prices range from 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. Next slide, please. Thank you. For our sandwiches, we have the fried chicken sandwiches, pulled pro sandwich, corned beef, and chicken tocino sandwich. Sizes range from solo, regular, large, and box of course. And prices range from 320 pesos to 1,540 pesos. Next slide, please. For our pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. Sizes range from solo to large and prices range from 290 pesos to 1,350 pesos. Next slide, please. Okay, also, if you want to order from Sobra Comfort Food, head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pickup or delivery. Pay conveniently through any of the same integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or email. Next slide, please. If you want to crave for something Korean, you may order some of the foods on the Kuya Korea restaurant. For the menu, we have for our rice bowls, beef bibimbap, beef bulgogi, pork samgyup, and K-pop chicken. Prices range from 195 to 220 pesos. For our chicken, bonus popcorn chicken sizes range from half to whole, and prices range from 235 to 435 pesos with the flavors gochu, ganjang, chicken, and k buffalo. So if you want to order, please check the Kuya Korea website for your orders as well. Next slide, please. Follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH. Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumu, HMI Philippines, and subscribe to the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Next slide, please. Now is the time for our shout outs and greetings to Benjamin Molina. Good evening to you. Thank you for watching. And, uh, also, to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To my family, good evening. To Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benilde, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, Good evening as well, and to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inclu Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you miss this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Next slide, please. Before we end our show this evening, I would like to share with you our quote for the day from Mother Teresa of Kolkata. It's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. So that's why 
as we approach Christmas season, let us have the time as a season of giving. Magbibigay or magbigayan in order for us to be generous and as well as we show appreciation and generosity as well. So, also guys, um, also, uh, Sir Mark, thank you po for assisting me tonight. And, okay, that's a wrap for Editorial for Wednesday, December 15, 2021. I'll be back again tomorrow for the Inclusive Report. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is... Sir Mark Betita saying, May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpala inawa tayo ng poong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching. Have a pleasant evening to all and good night. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Kumusta ka, kaibigan? Anong iyong naramdaman? Dito ba'y panibagong hamon ng pagsubok at pagkakataon? Walang panilang Ganyadang susuko Ikaw at ako Pasama sa Pasko Ang mali sa akin At pagbibigay ng daan Nang pag-asay Muli magagapan Ikaw Sa isibang pag-asa Bawat isa ay Mahalaga Kailan nga hindi ay nakikita Ipag na bang siya ang nagalama Ikaw ang kaskaw ng bagong pag-asa At inkisipo Ikaw ang kaskaw ng bagong pag-asa